everyone with love and respect. I didn't get too much lesson, but I suppose that it was an invitation to take the floor. Je voudrais d'abord remercier mon ami Boyko Borisov de nous accueillir. I would like to thank my friend Boyko Borisov that he uh, hosted us here at this high-level meeting. It's the second time that I've had the opportunity to come to Varna. The first time I came, the sky was blue. There was an incredible view to the Black Sea. And this time there is fog, there is rain. And I was not able to see the Black Sea, but I definitely know where I am. And respectively, I'm very glad that um, I have been able to, and I hope that's the case, to be able to contribute to improving the relations between the EU and Turkey. Yeah. So I, I had sometimes to stand up, to leave the room, to walk around. So I missed probably the important part of the meeting. La Turquie, pour moi, je me répète, dans le dix ans. We managed to share uh, many strategic uh, um, views. Uh, the Turkish uh, nation is a great nation, a very courageous nation, and I bear great respect and admiration for them. We would like Turkey to be a true strategic partner of the European Union. And as, a str as strategic partners, we need to maintain a very frank and open cooperation and dialogue to unite around what unites us and to be able to find solutions to what divides us. The European Union has always made the mistake, I think, by not describing what unites us and what is common between us, uh, but rather always highlighting what uh, causes tension amongst us. So with our Turkish friends, I would like to highlight we have many common interests, and but also challenges that we need to address together. I, I can highlight we share geostrategic interests uh, related to security, also in shared interest in related to energy supply. I think we have managed to work together, and uh, the European Union has contributed financially um, thanks to the help of the European Investment Bank. I think that the first supply of gas will come um, um, in the time between 2018 and 2020. Uh, we also discussed the common challenges in the area of terrorism. This is uh, a commitment uh, relevant both to the EU and Turkey to the same degree. Only united will be, we be able to be successful in this uh, uh, phenomenon call, against this phenomenon called terrorism. And um, in terms of interventions in Syria, I would like that any intervention always uh, take place in accordance with international law. We need to all abide by international law, both anyone taking part there. Uh, in terms of migration, things are not perfect, but the agreement uh, that uh, we signed between the EU and Turkey has proven to be very effective in relation to the results that can actually be checked. Uh, many um, 
migrants coming from Turkey towards to the EU have gone down in terms of numbers, over 75 percent, and this is uh, an achievement of the Turkish state because they took in on their territory many millions of refugees that came from Syria. This is a great example that shows that when necessary, Turkey has stepped up to the responsibility of demonstrating solidarity, solidarity with the European Union and uh, put in great effort towards this end. This is something for which we can greatly thank Turkey. In relation to solidarity between Turkey and the European Union, I would say again here the results are evident. In terms of the refugees that have found asylum or a new home on the territory of Turkey, but also um, the European Union contributed uh, uh, with 3 billion euro between 2016 2017. And also last year, we mobilized a second tranche of uh, 3 billion euro. Um, our member states have supported this. And here I need to remind our Turkish friends who. who sometimes who sometimes say that the EU has not uh, yet transferred enough or spent enough uh, in relation to the migration crisis and assisting Turkey. Uh, but uh, we abide by certain rules and procedures uh, in order to be able to execute these contributions. So there should be no no doubt that the EU will fulfill its commitment in relation to the 3 billion euro. The commitment uh, that we have taken will be fulfilled. For the other issues, um, Maybe I can call myself romantic or nostalgic, sometimes a bit sad um, in relation to the state of uh, relations between the EU and Turkey, and I'll explain why. For several years uh, now, I have been supporting the efforts of Turkey and Turkey's uh, desire to accede to the European Union. Uh, we and I have always supported the idea that at one point the EU should ac accept Turkey. I have never been in favor for um, stopping the negotiations with Turkey. I have always been and will continue to serve as a guarantee that we will continue the efforts and the, uh, the negotiations with Turkey. And tonight with my friend Erdogan, I wanted us to discuss the real state of, uh, of affairs. Turkey needs to improve relations with the member states within the EU, and here I'll focus in particular on Greece and Cyprus. This is an absolute must so that we can uh, have marked progress in relation to improving uh, the dialogue and the cooperation between the EU and Turkey.
We wanted to be there. We wanted to prove that we are close allies to uh, uh, Turkey because in this uh, complicated world, we are sharing something uh, in common and we had to prove it during that uh, uh, night. And so it was normal, obvious, evident that we had to condemn the actions in the middle of that uh, night, even before the outcome was clear. And our reaction was not depending on the outcome, but it was depending on what people inside Turkey tried to do, reverse democracy and kill the president of Turkey. We didn't know during that night that there has been an attempt to assassinate the president. You knew it later, and we are condemning this with all our means and uh, uh, strength. But now we think that the Turkish institutions, thanks to the efforts which have been undertaken, are strong enough to, for the state of emergency to end. We would ask Turkey to have a new look on the uh, uh, imprisoning in custody taking uh, of uh, journalists. Uh, Turkey is a big nation, a strong power inside the country and outside the country. And so I think that even as far as the Greek soldiers are concerned, efforts should be undertaken to resolve this problem in, uh, in normal uh, times. To sum up, because I have to, start, to stop here because my lack is, crying, is, is asking for help. Uh, this was a summit of mixed feelings, but not of mixed uh, messages. It was a good meeting, because as this is the normal principle between big democracies, we are able to talk in all frankness and uh, openness. Thank you, President Erdogan, for having been here. We will have, as we had in the past, many, many meetings to resolve the problems between Turkey and Europe. I do think that Turkey and the European Union have to move together.